what is going on guys my name is illusions ghost welcome back to another rbx glitches videos guys and inside of this video we are back inside of roblox bed wars once again guys so anyway if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that like button subscribe and of course turn on those notifications so this is actually um again the halloween update on roblox bed wars and so, oh there's our first clue okay and there is the big spooky monster all right so basically inside this video we're going to be going over everything that you missed inside of this game all right so we have a bat right there so it actually could be that one um so yep bat clue has been found so it could be this one all right but if we pick the wrong one we are dead how does this guy know which one it is it also could be that one of course and it could be that one because those all have bats on them what about this one maybe no wait Okay, well, we know it's not that one because man, man just dug it and man just got murdered. All right. So hopefully there's going to be yet another clue inside of this. And then that'll be enough to actually decipher what it is. I don't know why he tried to dig that thing. All right. But man is dead now. So, oh, hands. All right. Oh, and fish. Okay. So we got, we got hands, fish, bat, hands, fish, bat, hands, fish, bat. So easy that's easy enough all right so we just go back here and basically find it so yeah again we're going over all the secrets sorry i'm just playing this right now all right um bone fish bat oh here we go right here um yes sir so i just wanted to show that first because i feel like a lot of people actually don't know like um what that is this guy's saying good that he's it oh my bro and another thing guys i'm also going to show you where the um like all the different routes inside of the maze are so make sure you guys all stay tuned for that as well all right, guys, so first things first is actually right here. There's actually a Halloween event 2022 with a bunch of different missions on actually how to get candy. So basically what you guys can do with this candy is actually go over here and purchase cool little stuff with it. All right. So, oh, I didn't collect my candy from yesterday. I literally completed a challenge and I was like, oh, I'm just going to save it for a video. And then it just disappeared. All right. So that sucks. But anyway, basically you can also, you guys can get the cyber vampire Vulcan kit skin, which sounds amazing. All right. But I guess we'll see how it looks. Um, mummy lassie kit skin, which also sounds really cool. And also the gravestone kill effect, which I think also sounds cool. Um, so yeah, there are more stuff to actually come inside this Halloween update because of course next friday is when then when the next update actually does come out if you guys look up at the time and that is still before halloween so we still have plenty of time for these halloween festivities guys so anyway yeah that that is what i wanted to go over with the candies and usually the candy the missions say stuff like perform two final kills all right wait what is that? oh yeah, yeah final kills bread breaks um 80 emeralds um 15 and then you know do a bunch of damage okay and yeah so there's a lot of cool stuff with that in itself another thing guys is you can actually get this kit for free by doing the cryptic trials all right oh let me show you guys all the maze um pathways as well so this is all the possible pathways you start here every single time and you need to get to here every single time the maze is always the same except that there's these skulls around all right so these skulls you actually need to look out for if you walk up to them you will die instantly so the only person that can actually see these skulls is the person being the light the like the the person above you know shining the light down that is the only person that, that can actually see these so they have to lead you away so these are all the different possible routes that you can actually take to get to the end all right they're color-coded when one route changes and the next one begins so they all go off of this yellow one right here say if you have a skull right here you want to take the red route all right if you had a skull over here you want to take the yellow route the yellow route is the fastest route it's just you know yeah it's it's just kind of depends on where your skulls actually are if you could always take the yellow one but again you know you can't always take the yellow one because there might be skulls in the way guys well guys this um is interesting i am completely alone and yeah so this this is this is gonna be this is gonna go quite well guys if i do say so myself all right if we actually go all the way over here and then start this thing up then oh my this is this is this is interesting all right Ooh, bone all right so we have to go around looking for clues and stuff like that guys so yeah that's all that's all i give me we all know that this guy's gonna go 
right? He's gonna he's gonna get pretty angry, okay? But we're not gonna care about him at all, all right? I feel like I can solo solo this, all right? And I also can go over all of the cool stuff. I don't know what's gonna happen at the maze though. I feel like we might just instantly lose, all right? Which one of these has a bone, all right? Uh, any of these have a bone? Oh, there's a bone there. Um, and there's a bone there. So we have to figure out which one. Unless I. Oh, and there's a bone there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking a 33% chance. Um, to actually getting with something right. So I'm gonna go out and find the next clue. I might only need just one more clue, and that literally might be it. But you know, I don't know. We'll see. If only I had teammates, all right, but probably having no teammates is probably still better than having, um, you know, just the ordinary Roblox Bedwars teammates because I don't know how, but I always get paired up with, like, the worst people ever, all right? So I feel like actually a moon and, and a bone might even just be enough, all right? Um, to actually go in here and that actually might be enough. I might, I might have enough, you know, clues to actually figure this out, all right? And if not... Then I'm going to have to toss a coin and figure out which one I'm actually going to dig up. All right. So we're going to go here. Okay. Bone. Oh, it could be that one. And it could be none of these other. Oh, wait. It could be that one. They both have a crescent moon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Which one is it going to be? It's this one, guys. I know it is. It has to be this one. There's no. Wow. So we did it, boys. We beat the maze, and now we are in the Crypt's Tunnels, all right? So there's not much to be said about the maze. Basically, how you want to actually beat it, all right? You know, a little secret is that if you don't, like, engage with many of the skeletons, many of them won't even try to get you. So you just want to kind of watch out for the skeletons. Just run, run right by them. Don't even worry about them. And then, boom, we are perfectly fine so this one right here another cool thing that you could do is actually tag this stuff if you guys don't know how to do that it is actually g uh, if you're using keyboard so you can see exactly where they are even if they're not even there so um that is a really really cool thing that you can do okay and yeah it's it's honestly pretty awesome all right but these ones right here you have to be a little bit more careful all right because there's ones that will straight up kill you and also on this boulder one which is actually a little bit difficult okay you i what i like to do is i like to run against this left wall right here all right of course wait for that to bounce off oh wait no, no two of them are gonna hit that wall and now you want to hit the right side holy crap i'm I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No way. No shot. I die. Holy crap. So yeah, I like to run across the left wall um, Sad how last trial is RNG <laughs> Yeah, kind of pretty much guys all right so for this last one is basically a little bit difficult but um there is some new changes to it as well guys some of these new changes actually have to go with um you are actually able to now party up with a party of four on here all right um and also not only that is um actually you know going on here and shooting your arrows actually doesn't stop your sprint so this actually makes it a lot easier for mobile players all right um which i certainly like another thing is i also like to just you know basically just bow spam just don't even try to like you know try to get that 10 all right because if you like do that all right it will get to 10 like it will do good all right it will do more damage but i feel like just shooting these arrows just normally actually it are a lot better wait which one is it which one is it i can't see i can't see which one is it oh is it this one is it this one which one is it bro bro you were wrong wait where was it you I'm, I'm dead i'm literally dead what it didn't tell me one thing is when you actually die <laughs> your body actually turns into a ghost which i think is kind of cute um because you know it's you're, you're fighting you know crypts and you know there's there's like a see that wasn't there before all right how was how was i supposed to see that bro he didn't see it, see it either because it wasn't there all right we got robbed and of course i had to be the one that um got hit with it all right dude this is literally rng bro this isn't this this fight is sometimes so unfair guys it's a miracle i got a team of four let's go let's do it we're back inside of the boss fight again all you want to do is not um charge it up except for the first you know little thing this is actually my first time fighting it with more than um one person also if you just keep on moving diagonally 
All right, I mean one other person. If you just keep on moving diagonally, you basically, and bow spamming like this, you can just keep on shooting him over and over and over again without even stopping, all right? So you don't have to like stop to run away or anything like that. You wanna just hold down um, the shift key. Okay, the hands, the hands, the hands, the hands. Where are the hands? Huh, 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 huh. Over here, over here, bud. Go, quick, quick. You gotta, no, come back, come back. No, he died. Oh, that's tough. That's so painful. Oh, no. So, yeah, you just want to, you know, basically head in any direction. I like to move diagonally um, or, like, you know, parallel with him. That way you can still hit him, all right, and continue moving, all right. With this, it is a little bit more difficult to, you know, uh-oh, 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 I'm low on health. All right, I don't want to risk it. I am low on health. Bro, we're too close to each other. This isn't good. All right, we, we, need, to, we need to spread out a little bit. Um, but we need to stay close enough to the middle so then we can actually go and get the, um, what, what's it called? Um, but when there's so much going on like that, all right, you, sometimes you just want to, you know, take a step back and not die. Where's the witch hat? Where's the witch hat? Come on, come on. There we go. You cannot actually shoot him right now. You have to wait. And, but now we can shoot him. All right. So we're just going to keep on spamming the button, spamming the button, spamming the button. And yep, now we're running. Now we're running. Ow, 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 ow. All right. Holy crap, there's so many. So yeah, if you keep your distance a little bit more, it'll be easier to, you know, run and shoot him. All right, when he's shooting the skulls at you. Ow, 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 ow. And also you want to, you know, not be like me and actually pay attention to where you're going and everything. All right, but basically, um, oh, he's almost dead. This, this is actually, this is huge. This is huge, guys. He's actually almost dead. So, um... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Yep, that was huge, that was huge. All right, you just want to keep on watching out. Don't let him touch you at all, all right? And just basically keep on bow spamming him over and over and over again, all right? Um, I prefer having at least, like, three people in here doing this with you, but um, you don't need three people, okay? Go over there, go over there, go over there, go over there, go over there. You got to make it, bud. You have to. You have to. He's so slow. Make it. Make it, bro. Yes. Yes. That's huge. Oh, my. All right. He was almost, he almost didn't make it. He almost didn't make it, bro. So, um, at those points, yeah, you want to charge up your bow and everything like that. I've shot over a hundred arrows at this guy. You probably will be shooting a lot of arrows. I've shot over 120 arrows, bro. So, um, also don't worry about the skulls themselves. Just look out for the red circles. That's basically all you need to worry about. Um, the skulls themselves actually don't do anything. It's just where the red circles actually are that actually will do something. So you just need to keep on watching out for that. All right. Um, watch out if there's going to be a thing coming up behind you. Um, another, <laughs> yeah. So basically you want to look at, oh, 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 these are hitting. These are hitting now. These are hitting holy crap and there's a there's a giant wall coming up behind me two of them matter of fact holy crap i'm i'm, I'm literally i'm cornered i'm cornered i'm cornered oh um 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 how many of these is he gonna shoot no i was so close how many of the stupid skulls was he gonna shoot all right so anyway that's gonna have to be it for this video if you guys all did enjoy make sure you guys go and stay hitting that like button subscribe and of course turning on those notifications again i prefer having at least three people um fighting the boss at the end all right if it's not three people you probably will be falling behind and you probably will end up dying um just like how you saw with two people but it is still possible to you know solo the entire thing and do it but yeah Anyway, that's just my preference. Anyway, hope you guys all did enjoy. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. See you guys on the next video. Love you guys all. Peace out. And of course, goodbye.